When it's burning or crimes are happening, usually firefighters and police officers get called to extinguish the fire and de-escalate critical situations. In football there is one position where the player kind of has a similar role, just in a sporting sense of course. The position I'm talking about today is the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper often is the last man standing to save his team when there's no one left to defend the goal, so he often becomes a kind of hero. In football history, there have been many players that became heroes for their team. From one of the best goalkeepers of all time, Yashin in the 50s and 60s, to the Italian legend Buffon who is still active today, to Germany's wall Neuer who changed and revolutionized the goalie game in the modern era. The goalkeeper position always has been kind of the most important position in the game and at the same time always has been the most overlooked and underrated position as the focus usually is on strikers as they are known for creating magic with their goals and spectacular shots. The blue character I'm talking about today is one of the more popular characters in the blue community but also one who often gets overlooked when being compared to others. Jin Gagamaru, Team Z striker and Blue Ox goalkeeper, is one of the strongest and underrated characters of the manga. Gagamaru debuted in Chapter 2 as a member of Team Z during the first selection. Like the other Blue Ox members, Gagamaru's goal was to become the best striker in the world. In the match against Team Y, as the audience realized for the first time that Gagamaru isn't just a very tall and unique looking man, that he also is a dangerous striker because of his spring-like body which he used to almost score a goal by doing a diving header but hit the bar, unfortunately. He later then actually scored the equalizer with a tap-in for Team Z, and like the other Team Z members, Gagamaru survived the first selection and even made it into the starting 11 of Team Blue Lock 11 versus Japan's U20. At this point we knew that Blue Lock just wasn't only a project to find the best striker anymore, it was also a project to find the best players in general for all the other positions, and obviously Blue Lock 11 couldn't play with 11 center forwards and needed players on other positions, and therefore needed a goalkeeper. And Igor decided to change Gagamau's position from being a forward to being a goalkeeper, which actually made sense. We knew Gagamau had an insane jumping range, great flexibility, and also explosive reactions, which he had shown many times in several occasions during the matches of the first selection. So Gagamau started as Blue Ox goalkeeper against Japan's U20 and didn't disappoint at all. Although Gagamau has never played as a goalkeeper before, he was able to save the shot from the 20s star striker Sendo by using his super reaction speed. Later Gagamau was even able to save a shot from Blue Ox demon striker Shido with a handstand block and showed once more how bizarre, tricky, but effective his saves are. And later in the new Igress League, Gagamau decided to join Best at Munich from Germany. We also got to see his stats there, and Gagamau got a total rating of 85, with an A in almost every category except defense, where he even got AS, and dribble, where he even got AB, which is still very good for a goalkeeper. So Gagamau is definitely a born defender, although he can still play as a center forward, especially because of his great diving header skill. Mexican goalkeeper legend Jorge Campos is one of the most known goalkeepers who also played as a striker in real-life football. Campos scored 38 goals during his career and often switched between the goalkeeper and striker position. He was also known for his runs out of the goal and his great dribbling skills. We also saw Gagamau doing the scorpion kick once in the match against Team Wii, which was Higuita's signature move as a goalkeeper to save shots. So, we can clearly see that Kanishiro got influenced by the just mentioned goalkeepers during the process of creating the character Gagamaru. Although Gagamaru had some great moments as goalkeeper and striker and is popular within the community, he still remains one of the most underrated players in Blue Lock, and the reason therefore could be his main position as goalkeeper, and goalkeepers in general often easily get ignored by the audience. Current Real Madrid and Belgium goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois recently said in an interview after the reveal of this year's Ballon d'Or results, to be honest, I think it's impossible. Of course, Karin deserves it, we are happy and everyone agrees with it, but after a year in which you win the Champions League and win the championship as a goalkeeper, your team wins the Champions League final thanks to your saves, and then you only finish 7th. That has a lot to do with the fact that the votes don't go to the goalkeeper. And I mean, he is kind of right in the aspect that goalkeepers don't get as much attention as strikers, at least long term. But nevertheless, I do hope that Gagamaru will continue to get more fans and keep becoming even more popular in the future. Alright, what do you think of Gagamaru? Let me know in the comments below and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.